Hello and welcome. I've just finished reading Lancaster by John Nicholl about the aircraft and the men and women who flew in it in World War II. The Lancaster was designed and built by A.V. Rowe and Company in England. A.V. Rowe had been founded in 1910 in Manchester by Elliot Verdon Rowe and his brother Humphrey. In 1911, Elliot interviewed 18-year-old Roy Chadwick and offered him a job as his assistant for one pound a week, the best investment he ever made. Chadwick progressed by natural talent to draftsman, then to chief designer by 1918, when Avro had just 40 employees. In the early 1940s, Chadwick teamed up with designer Roy Dobson to work on the twin-engined Manchester bomber. In the face of mounting official pressure to discontinue work on the failed Manchester, Chadwick and Dobson, along with Stuart Duncan Davies, saw in the Manchester the potential in a progression to a four-engined aircraft. Chadwick's idea was to build these four-engine aircraft as simply as possible in completed sections. Each section could be manufactured in separate factories. That would be handy in war because in case of factories put out of commission. Each aircraft would cost £50,000 to produce, had 55,000 parts and took 70,000 man hours, or in this case, woman hours to build. 7,377 were produced in five years and a quick check in today's money comes out about £195 billion. The first Lancaster flew on the 9th of January 1941 and proved an immediate success. After the war, passenger airliners such as the York and Lancastrian and the military Shackleton and Lincoln derived from the Lancaster. Let us look a bit closer at the working life of Chadwick. Roy Chadwick was born in 1893 in Widnes in the UK. At A.V. Row, he drafted the Avro D, a two-seat tractor biplane, the Avro E, which was converted to a float plane, and in 1912, the Avro F, the world's first monoplane with enclosed cabin. He then worked on the Avro 500, 501 and 503, leading up to Avro's World War I light bomber and trainer, the renowned Avro 504. In 1915, at the age of 22, Chadwick designed the Avro Pike, a twin-engine pusher biplane bomber. In 1920 came the Avro Aldershot, the world's largest single-engine bomber. In 1925, he designed an all-metal plane, the single-seater fighter Avro Avenger. And in 1926, the Avro Avian, in which Australian Bert Hinkler flew the first solo flight from England to Australia in 1928. In 1929, Chadwick designed the RAF trainer, the Avro Tutor, a small version, the Avro Cadet, and an enclosed version, the Avro Commodore. This was followed by the renowned Avro Anson, used in World War II for training crews and as a transport aircraft. In 1941, he designed a long-range transport, the Avro York, and larger variants of the Lancaster, the Avro Lincoln and Avro Lancastrian. After the war, he designed Britain's first pressurised airliner, the Avro Tudor, based around the Lancaster-derived Avro Lincoln, though few were built, and also the Avro Shackleton in 1946. His final involvement with Avro was overseeing the initial designs of the Avro Vulcan from 1946. Author Harold Penrose described Roy Chadwick in British Aviation as artistic with unbounded enthusiasm and unsparing energy. Roy Chadwick was a great designer of intuitive diagnostic ability. Roy Chadwick died on the 23rd of August 1947 in a crash during the takeoff of a prototype Avro Tudor II. The accident was due to an error 
in overnight servicing in which the aileron cables were inadvertently crossed. Roy Chadwick was considered to be Britain's best aircraft designer up to that point. Thank you for watching.